This week in nerd history, July 17th through the 23rd. July 17th. In 1955, Disneyland, Walt Disney's metropolis of nostalgia, fantasy, and futurism, opened its gates to the public for the first time, welcoming thousands of guests to explore its five themed lands and 20 attractions. In 2011 at Money in the Bank, CM Punk defeated John Cena in a five-star wrestling match to win the WWE Championship and then left the company with the title, creating one of the most memorable moments in WWE history. In 2015, Ant-Man premiered in theaters. This superhero film follows Scott Lang, a former thief who gains the ability to shrink and communicate with ants as he teams up with Dr. Hank Pym and his daughter Hope Van Dyne to stop Darren Cross, Pym's former protege who wants to use the same technology for evil. In 2020, Ghost of Shusima released. This action-adventure game followed Jin Sakai, a samurai who must defend his homeland from the Mongol invasion by adopting the stealthy and dishonorable tactics of the ghost. And also in 2020, Paper Mario, the Origami King, released in America. This action-adventure role-playing game follows Mario and his allies as they try to stop King Ollie, an origami tyrant who wants to fold the world into his own image, using a ring-based puzzle system and various paper-themed abilities. July 18th. In 2006, Eureka premiered. This American science fiction comedy drama series aired on Sci-Fi until 2012, following the adventures of Jack Carter, a U.S. Marshal who becomes the sheriff of Eureka, a secret town in Oregon where the most brilliant minds in the country work on cutting-edge inventions for the government. In 2008, The Dark Knight premiered in theaters. This superhero film follows Batman as he faces his greatest challenge yet, The Joker, a psychotic mastermind who unleashes a wave of chaos and terror on Gotham City, testing Batman's morality and pushing him to his limits. July 19th. In 2001, Final Fantasy X was released. This role-playing video game was developed and published by Square as the 10th main entry in the Final Fantasy series, featuring a turn-based combat system, a character progression system called the Sphere, grid and a story that follows Titus, a star athlete who is transported to the world of Spira, where he joins forces with Yuna, a summoner, on a quest to defeat the monstrous Sin. July 20th. On this historic day in 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to step out of their lunar module and walk on the dusty surface of the moon, fulfilling the dream of President Kennedy and inspiring millions around the world. In 1983, Mario Brothers released. This arcade game by Nintendo features the twin plumbers Mario and Luigi who have to clear the sewers of New York from various creatures by flipping them over and kicking them away. In 1984, Revenge of the Nerds released in theaters. This American comedy film follows a group of nerdy and outcast college students who fight back against the bullying and pranks of the jock fraternity, the Alpha Betas, and their sorority allies, the Pi Delta Pies. July 21st. In 2007, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows released in bookstores. In the final installment of the Harry Potter series, Harry, Ron, and Hermione embark on a perilous quest to find and destroy the Horcruxes, the secret to Voldemort's immortality and destruction, while the wizarding world is plunged into a dark and deadly war. In 2017, Fortnite released on several platforms. This online multiplayer game was developed by Epic Games, with the most popular mode being Fortnite Battle Royale, a free-to-play game with up to 100 players competing to be the last one standing. July 22nd. Finally, in 2011, Captain America, the first Avenger released in theaters. This superhero film tells the origin story of Steve Rogers, a frail but brave man who becomes a super soldier after taking an experimental serum and fights against the Nazi-backed Hydra organization during World War II. For more nerdy facts about the topics we shared today, find our companion article for this week on lovethynerd.com. I'm Radio Matt, and I'll see you next time for more Nerd History.